So in this video, we are going to start about the actinoids. We have started discussing F block elements. Okay. In that actinoids, we have already discussed in the F block elements, we have already discussed that there are lanthanoids. Okay. In the previous video, we have studied about the lanthanoids. Now, the next series of F block elements that is actinoids, which we are going to discuss now. Okay. See. We will also compare lanthanoids and actinoids to understand them in a better way. First of all, in actinoids, what is the general oxidation state? The general oxidation state in actinoids, that is plus three. Okay, plus three is the most common and general oxidation state, which is found in the actinoids. Along with that, plus four or plus five oxidation states are also shown by some compounds, okay? But generally, most commonly, plus three is the most oxy common oxidation state, which is seen in the actinoids, okay? Now, there is a very important question, which is asked a number of times in the one mark, that is that which element of the lanthanoid series shows plus four oxidation state? That is not related to actinoids, but that is a part of the F block only, okay? That is, which element of lanthanoid series shows plus four oxidation state? Okay, that which element as a number of times in one marks that is cerium. Cerium has atomic number 58, and cerium is that element of lanthanoid series which shows plus four oxidation state. Otherwise, we have studied in lanthanoids also that the common oxidation state of lanthanoids is also plus three only. And common oxidation state of actinoids is also plus three, which is shown by them. Okay. Next property that we have to discuss is about the size. See, in actinoids, in lanthanoids, we have studied lanthanoid contraction. Similarly, in the actinoids, what exists? Actinoid contraction. Similar to that of lanthanoids, lanthanoid contraction in lanthanoids, actinoid contraction is seen in the actinoids. Now, what is this actinoid contraction? Actinoid contraction is that decrease in the size along the series. Okay, that is decrease in size along the series, which is seen in actinoids, that is called as actinoid contraction. Okay, this is also very important. After that, one more thing we have to discuss is that the reactivity. See, in case of reactivity, Actinoids, they are more reactive than lanthanoids. Okay. Actinoids are more reactive than lanthanoids. This is the scene in them. Okay. That is reactivity. Actinoids are more reactive. Now, how this is proved that actinoids, they are more reactive than lanthanoids? See, actinoids, what happens that they form when they are uh, kept in the atmosphere, they react with oxygen and they form a thin layer of oxide over them. Okay. They form a protective layer of oxide over them. For example, as we study in zinc in aluminum, that those elements, when they react with oxygen, when they are exposed to the air, they form a protective oxide layer upon them. Similarly, these actinoids also, how is it proved that they are more reactive than lanthanoids? Actinoids, they form a protective thick, protective thin, thin layer of oxide over them. Okay. And that is not seen in the lanthanoids. So actinoids, they are more reactive. Okay. Then, and another very important point we have to see is that of the ionization enthalpy. 
ionization enthalpy of lanthanoids that is higher than those of actinoids see lanthanoids that is uh, <coughs> they are having 4f electrons while in actinoids the f subshell is that of the 5f in lanthanoids that is of the 4f okay so what is ionization enthalpy that is the energy which is required to remove the valence electron from the valence shell okay now in lanthanoids see 4f that is more closer to the nucleus while 5f that is more shielded from the nucleus means that is away from the nucleus so as 4f is lesser shielded okay there is lesser shielding of 4f electrons and it is more in proximity to the nucleus means it is more closer to the nucleus that's why the lanthanoids they have higher ionization enthalpy while in case of actinoids they are having electrons in the 5f subshell okay now 5f is away from the nucleus as compared to that of the 4f okay so that's why as it is more shielded means in this there is more shielding effect which is seen these are more shielded and are away from the nucleus that's why removal of electrons is easier from actinoids and thus actinoids they have lower ionization enthalpy okay one thing i forgot to explain over here that why this actinoid uh, contraction is seen see 5f over here we are just comparing it's not that 5f they are very much good uh, betterly shielded no they are also having poor screening effect but as compared to the 4f electrons they are having higher shielding effect okay now over here actinoid contraction why is it happening it is also happening due to the poor shielding effect of 5f electrons okay poor shielding effect of the 5f electrons this actinoid contraction is happening and lanthanoid contraction was happening because of the poor shielding effect of the 4f electrons but as if we compare which is having a higher uh, which is having uh, more poor which is having more poor uh, shielding effect that is of the 4f only okay mm -hmm. that comparison which we have discussed over here 